Marco Gonzalez, fine. Marco Gonzalez? Mm -hmm. No. Only Marco Gonzalez. It is a very nice place to go and visit where you can see part of Mayan history. My name is Jan Brown. I'm the chairman of the board of the Marco Gonzalez Maya Site Ambergris Key Limited nonprofit organization for the preservation of the Marco Gonzalez Archaeological Reserve. We work with the government of Belize on a statutory, uh, statutory instrument to be the coordinators of this site. We're the only nonprofit organization in the country of Belize as uh, co-managers of any of the parks in the, the country. So we're very proud of that. Uh, the Marco Gonzalez site is 5.75 uh, acres big at this point. Um, it was much larger in its um, um, time when the Mayas lived here, but due to sea rise and um, the encroachment of the mangroves, the site is now um, uh, estimated to be at that seven and a half acres. They put food in here. Put in food. Um, like a plate. A ball. My side. Yeah, in here when they make this here. Me. They used to carry food on it, or like actually put it on their heads. Very old. Fountain stone. It actually doesn't look that old. Can you? My name is Jerry Choco. I work here at Marco Gonzalez Archaeological Reserve along with Chandram. And this, I do the general maintenance on the site. Well, I'm a born man all the way down south of Punta Gorda, south of the country of Belize. And I grew up in a roof thatch house along with my parents. Well, my whole future from when I was a little kid, went to high school, I was under a palapa doing farming, planting corn, chopping bush, and stuff like that at the mine. So I saw raccoons, snakes, Iguanas, army crabs, heron, and so forth. The coastal miter traders that were the occupants of the Marco Gonzalez site would have started out with their canoes finding the island approximately 100 BC. The goods that we find at the Marco Gonzalez site cover vast areas. So these people had wide reaching ranges. They were able to communicate with people and um, bring a lot of goods back and forth. The mouth, <laughs> a jaw. Um, it was some kind of stuff from the mouth. This is a piece of an animal. From a human. From a human. 50 years? Like 70 years or 80 years? One million years old. 100 years. 100 years. 100 years. 100 um, was developed when there was a team of archaeologists on Ambergris Key, the island of Ambergris Key, in 1982. Um, during one of the um, uh, explorations, a young man, uh, the son of a, a local fisherman here, was being part of a, the guides that helped the archaeologists find these different locations. He indicated that there was a large one on the south end of Ambergris Key, asked if the people would like to go see it, and they said, well, of course, we did. They found no stela, they found no pottery that would have indicated what the name of the site could have been during its occupation. And finally, in exasperation, one of the archaeologists, Dr. Pendergast, just threw up his hands and said, well, let's just name it after our guide, and that guide's name was Marco Gonzalez. All right. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? Canada. Canada? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> how do you like how do you like the Marco Gonzalez site so far? Good. <laughs> what's, your favorite, what's your favorite part? Um I get a touch stuff. <laughs> 
the importance of this site is has yet to really be developed but what you find here is just a treasure trove and so we're hoping for um, the government of Belize to always support us and to be behind what is part of our national history, our national treasure, and the, um, the education of our children for the future. When we believe the Maya leave the site, maybe we believe due to sea rise, or they've been disturbed by storm, or the encroachment of the mangrove, the mangrove, that's mainly what I believe why these people live. Um, I think it's important to have this site on the island because gives people a chance to view Mayan culture in a more calm, easier to look at it place. It's interesting to be on Sundays it's free. And I think it's very educational for you to learn Maya stuff thousand years ago. So we should go there. And it's like I don't know, it's amazing because you see a lot of stuff from ancient stuff. Yeah, it's great.